Williams, congratulations on Meets. Um, a funny, short, terrifying, horrifying, bad. <laughs> you tell me. So <laughs> maybe, maybe you want to throw up a little. I yeah. <laughs> um, so tell us about uh, your inspiration for this. I, I assume there's there's some personal backstory involved here. No, none. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, thanks. Um, well, I've I've always been um, really interested in food <laughs> from a young age. <laughs> I became very interested in food. Um, I mean, I've gone through lots of different phases in my life. I've been vegetarian. I've been vegan. I've been like I've done the the like eat nothing but meat diet. I've um, <clears throat> I've kind of done them all, and each one has sort of been an experiment that failed um, because ultimately what I've learned is um, what my brain wants and what my body wants are most of the time two different things. Um, and so I started doing some research about the ethics of meat eating um, a couple of years ago. And I, you know, I just read the books. I read Jonathan Safran Foer's Eating Animals and I read um, Michael Pollan's books. And, um, and then I, I read a book called Killing It by Camus Davis. Um, which is about a, a female butcher. And I was like, this is a great character. Um, but, uh, but I didn't have the rights to that book. So um, I wanted to sort of write something in this world. And I, um, I assigned myself a um, writing a short film a week for six weeks. So it, I had wow. just... Wow. <laughs> it was a terrible idea. Uh, I mean, not really, but like... I wouldn't recommend it. Um, so I, I, and I had finished writing, I had finished reading that, that book. So this was just one of the, the shorts that I wrote during that time. That's great. Well, speaking of, of butchers, uh, your co-star, is, is he a real butcher? It kind of <laughs> seemed like it. Yes, he's a real butcher. So I, as soon as I wanted to make this short, I, I went to my like local butcher and I was like, Hey, and this is like really cool, like tatted guy with long hair. And I was like, do you want to like do a short film with me? <laughs> <laughs> he was like, what? I was like, yeah, like I want to carve up a lamb on camera. And he was like, I am the health authority is not going to let you behind this counter. And I was like, okay, this probably isn't, this probably isn't the place. Okay. And so then I just started going around to all the different butcher shops in New York City and everyone was just like laughing me out of there. They were like, you, you're literally, it's illegal for you to, for you to do that. And then I heard about Jake who runs um, this, this butcher shop down in Chelsea Market. And uh, so I went in there and literally like he shook my hand and I was like, do you guys ever have like stuff filmed in here? And he said, yeah, we had this woman doing this interpretive dance where she was lying and dancing on top of the meat um, last week. And it turned into this really beautiful piece. And I was like, you are my guy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So that location is at Chelsea Market? Yes. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. That was, that was my old neighborhood when I lived in. No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I was so there all like, the time. I don't know if it was there. Was it there? Pro probably not. No, if, it, if it's a newer edition, I probably missed it. But that's amazing. So did you do it like all in one night? Yeah, well, when I met Jake, I started, um, and Jake um, had employed Giancarlo, who was the butcher. Um, so he said, I, I've got a guy who I think will do it, you know, because it's, it's a lot of pressure. Um, and, and you, you know, to find somebody willing to do their, you know, he said, I just want to, I'm, he was very nervous. He was like, I just want to make sure that like, it looks right. And, you know, do I concentrate on the scene or do I concentrate on the meat? And I was like, the meat, always the meat. The meat the <laughs> stuff, I'm not even here. Just, do the, just do your job, you know? Um, and, uh, but when I met Jake, he was like, do you want to like get back here and like learn what it's all about? And I was like, heck yeah. So I started an internship at the butcher shop. So I started, and it was only lamb. I was only learning lamb. So I basically learned how to take down a whole lamb. Wow. Um, yeah. And the friend, the Frenching and everything was the hard, that was the hardest part. But, um, anyway, so I learned a lot of things I never really even <laughs> wanted to know. And 
Yeah, I know. Maybe useful in a pandemic. I don't know. Yeah, it depends on where the pandemic goes from here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow, that's that's really incredible. That's incredible. Yeah. Um, so, so where can our audience continue to follow your, follow your journey as a filmmaker? Oh, well, I'm on Instagram. Okay, great. Um, Ashley Williams and Company. Um, I'm not, I'm not good at Twitter. I'm not great at any of it, but, um, you know, I'm, but at I'm least a, for the highlights, we can follow you on Instagram. Yeah, you might and, get, um, oh, and yeah. I know you're working on another, finishing up another project right now. What is that? And when this, can we hope to see it? Yeah, that's probably, yeah. So I did, I directed a, um, um, a crime thriller for Lifetime, um, a feature, my first feature in the middle of a pandemic. Uh, we just wrapped two weeks ago. So um, it was really fun. It was, and it's, you know, I really love genre directing. I really love um, fig cracking what the rules are of the world that we're working within. And so it was really fun being able to, to flex the, the crime thriller uh, muscles. And so that's going to be on Lifetime sometime this fall. It's, a, it's based on a book by Ann Rule, who wrote a, bun a bunch of crime thrillers. Um, so it's called Practice to Deceive. Ooh, Practice to Deceive. I like that. Yeah. Well, excellent. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk and congratulations again on Meet. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me.